Amazing how fast the water rises. It's from high tides from Hurricane Sandy. Almost getting to the first step, and we're at high tide in the back bay right now. And don't really go up any higher. Well, it looks pretty bad down the street, unfortunately. Good God. Here we go, Hurricane Sandy. Man, it's falling hard. It is rocking and rolling. It's around four o'clock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Seriously. Wait, wait a minute. What the frack's going on? The what happened? The water starts separating. Like this. Like it was it in the middle of the street? Yeah. It's it was. Been like that, right? It filled up, but then it emptied out. It was weird. Now it's filling in again. That might be a good sign if the wind's coming the way it's coming. It Calm down again. What the frack? Of course, I'm, I had the video camera. Now it stops. What? The wind slowed down. That's the remains of my other tree from the derecho <laughs> yeah, back in June. So, so when I'm trash cans, I can go anywhere. I got logs in them. Well, I actually say recycling bins.
careful, you get hit by flying debris. and looking out towards um Skull Bay <laughs> without a distance though. But um this is December eleventh twenty twelve and we got a little sandy damage here. Yeah docks got really ripped up when the tie came up. Wow. I'm just seeing something beyond it too. Mind you this is a nice day in December. Zoom this in a bit. Slow uh, scroll here, or slow pan. What am I doing? The boat made it okay. Look over here. And it's pretty torn up over there too. Bay looks nice and uh, calm today, and hopefully the rest of winter won't be so bad. Give us a break from this catastrophic storm called Sandy. All right, mm. hello everybody. It's Rick again, and it's um, February 10th, 2013. A couple of months after Sandy, and here's some of the damage still here. This is obviously a dot that was pushed up out of water that flooded this area back on October 29th 2012 here's just another shot of the dock This is more docks. This is on Drum Avenue in Market, New Jersey, just south of Lang City. You can see there's um these docks were pushed around a little bit. Not as bad as the other one. This area's in the process of being rebuilt. And here's a fence that got knocked down by the flood of Sandy. There's 
more of the area. And out there, new docks are being built, so good news is the area is being rebuilt and homes are being um, redone and the docks are being redone. It should be this area should be ready by the summer of for 2013, which is the good news. This is just the other side of the new dock being built here. So some of this is old existing floating dock which stayed and some of it is new so it's in the process of being rebuilt. And that's the Margate Bridge in the background. Right here is one home. It's being um, raised up so it's never flooded again. And they're in the process of building a new foundation and making it higher in the event of another flood the size of Sandy comes. Anyway, but um, Here's another home being raised. It's two stories home, two stories high. And it's being raised high off the ground too for a new foundation being built. All right, this is Rick from Skull Bay Productions. I just want to say um, the area's being rebuilt and hopefully things will be better for the summer of 2013. I wish you all the best of luck where it's affected by Hurricane Sandy and hopefully everybody will be back in their homes and everything back to normal within a year within a year all right this is rick from skull bay productions again signing off everyone good luck yeah this is some sites you want to visit like the american red cross it's www.redcross.org and you can help donate for to help the victims of sandy and other disasters around the country from earthquakes to blizzards There's another website you want to visit. It's called RestoreTheShore.com. And it's about helping Sandy victims from Sandy Hook to Cape May and rebuilding the Jersey Shore, such as the boardwalks, the attractions, and of course the um, all the boats had to be replaced and the docks and everything for fishing again. So please visit RestoreTheShore and see what you can do.